Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're going to calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Tiffany Stevenson claims her ex-boyfriend donated her belongings to get back at her after he cheated and they broke up. Kemp Kettle claims the plaintiff disappeared for a week, so he packed up her stuff. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. All right, so this is the case of Stevenson versus Kettle. Ms. Stevenson, you are suing Mr. Kettle for $700, the value of clothes you say he gave to the Goodwill unauthorized. Explain. So. Your Honor, like, I, I never believed that I would be here or doing anything like this. So I was living in Atlanta, and I met this man, and I stopped my entire life for him, and I moved here to be with him and everything. And two years in, he cheated on me, and I gave, like, him a second chance. I allow him to be a better man, to stop what he was doing, to devote himself to our, our family, to us and everything was fine for a while. And then the day after our third year anniversary, a girl was banging in the front door saying that she was sleeping with him, they had been dating for three months, and I, I was done. I, I can't, I can't be with somebody like this. So I left the apartment, I couldn't see him, I couldn't be near him. His sister lives nearby, we're like best friends, and I stayed with her. And I finally called him and I said, look, we're done. I cannot be in this relationship anymore. You disrespect me all the time. You cheat on me. I left my entire life for him. I came here without knowing anybody or anything, and I came here for him, and he kept on doing those things. He okay, stop. Okay. Pause. Sorry. Mr. Kettle? Yes, ma'am. Do you take issue with anything Ms. Stevenson has said thus far? Uh, most of what she said I take issue with, yes, Your Honor. Most um, of it? Most of it, yes. So you weren't in a relationship and then you cheated? No, I wa well, I was in a relationship with her, a very toxic relationship, and um, she did move in with me to California. Um, and that's when her entire demeanor changed. She used to be very kind and sweet and encouraging to me when we were texting long distance and when I met her at the bar in Atlanta. When she moved in with me, all of a sudden she became very demanding, a very demeaning. So I admit that I made Let some mistakes finish, in this relationship. I should have, rather than find emotional and mental, like, well-being in someone else, I should have found the courage to end the relationship beforehand. Okay, didn't I just say, do you agree with what she said, and you said no, and then you just sat up here and just recited exactly pretty much what she said. You were in a relationship, it started going kind of bad, and you cheated. I was not in a relationship that went bad, I was in a toxic relationship, a and relationship. I did not... Toxic relationships are bad. So, take me to the part where you leave, and somehow he does something with your clothes. He takes them to the Goodwill? So, no, he, he donated. I don't, I don't know what happened. He donated. That's what he said. Like, I'm not sure exactly how it happened. That's what he said. So what happened is, after I was at his sister's house, where, like, we're best friends, I was staying with her, and she was like, I don't know how he got a woman like you, and I don't know why that is not you what she take says to this, me you know, when she has conversations things. with me. He's very spoiled, and he's always been like this. So. I was so broken because twice now he had cheated, twice. I went to his sister. After like two, three days, 
I called him and I said, we're done. I cannot be in a relationship with you anymore. This is like really toxic. This is not good for me. I need some time what off. What did he say when you told him you can't be in the relationship anymore? He, he begged me to stay. I he was did like, not please. Beg, like, I, that's not true. I did not beg you to stay. He I begged said, me. I wish his sister was here. She couldn't come here. I tried to get her here. She couldn't come here. His sister saw. He was begging me. That's begging not me true. to stay. That is you not elevate true. my life. You make me better. You make me a better man. I wanted to be a better man. And he brings the worst in me. He brings the worst in me. Your Honor, I tried really hard to make it work to do everything but he cheats on me i have a text message on you can let see me that. see the evidence please, Sean. please see he called me prim he's curious me i i never looked to anybody i never it's did anything true. i never gave him a reason for him to, to call me that so these are text Honor. messages from mr kettle to you yeah between us hey i can't unlock the door can you open it i'm so not home i I, I gave him, when I called him, we decided, look, I'm going to look for a place to live, but it's California and it's hard, so give me a little time to find. You so, said I need to come shower and change my clothes. Exactly. I pay for one month to stay and I said, we're not going to be in a relationship, we're going to be like, not roommates, but like, we're going to live together until I find a place. And he said, This is okay. after you left with the sister? You yes. came back? Yes. Coming up. Finally, when I could get in, he was standing there, and then he was like, you have 20 minutes, go. And I'm trying to get my stuff, and when I look, almost everything that I had was in trash bags, all piled up in the corner. Closed captioning provided by... We're back with exes Tiffany Stevenson and Kemp Kettle, who are in court fighting over lost belongings. Mr. Kettle, so you told her you have some nerve... Yes, this is... I haven't heard from you in a week, and now you want to move uh, quick since you're back? I was worried about you. These so text you were messages, worried when she disappeared? Yes, these text messages are actually from, late, from after we had already broken up and established that she was going to stay in the apartment until she found a place. Then she went to a bar with my sister and disappeared for a week. I texted her. Because I called it was, her. It was four days. Your I, Honor, I can explain what happened. It was four days. So what happened is this. I, after I talked with him, I was crying. I was kind of like in a depressive mode. His sister said, like, let's cheer you up. Let's put music. Let's go out. And I was like, okay, let's go out. We went out. I was in the bar and I met this guy called John. And I don't know if you ever met somebody that you feel like you live another life with that person because it's so like common and it's so safe and it's so nice. And we kept talking. Me, him, and Tia. We, the three of us were talking and having all the stuff. All right. So he invited me to spend a few days in Tahoe. I have never... On the night you met him? On yes, the night I met him. Honor. I came back and I went to my apartment where I pay rent for one month. I put the key in, the key wouldn't work. The key wouldn't work. And I tried many times. I text him, I'm trying to get home. I need to go change. I need to get my stuff. He's not answering. He's ignoring me. And then he was like, yeah, I changed the key lock. I did all the stuff. I couldn't get in into my own apartment. That you paid rent for? I paid rent was for. Was your name on the lease? No. No, because what happened is he lives in a place that is rent control. And when we came in, I came in after I went to his apartment. If you put me on the lease, the rent goes higher and then changes everything. So he was like, let's keep you without the lease so the rent is lower because it's a rent control thing. And I was like, oh, okay. I want the best for us. So if we can save money, let's do it. I couldn't get in. And so then what happened? I text him, nothing, nothing from him. I went That's to his not sister. True. I texted you I right back. No, you text me later. I went. I'll give you a chance to respond, Mr. Thank Kettle. you, Your Honor. I went to his sister, and I'm trying. For 48 hours, I couldn't get into the apartment. Finally, when I could get in, he was standing there, and then he was like, you have 20 minutes, go. And I was like, okay, and, and it, I was already like, it was such a weird situation because it's been three years and I'm trying to get my stuff. And when I look, almost everything that I had was in trash bags, all piled up in the corner. And he was like, you can't just get and go. And Did like, you have her things in a trash bag, Mr. Kettle? No, Your Honor, I had her things in a series of duffel bags that I had set neatly by the front door in the hallway. What had actually happened was she left for Tahoe for about a week. I did not know what was going on with her. I texted her several times because our agreement was that she would stay in the apartment until she found a place of her own. That was the agreement. So I'm not hearing anything from her for a week. I make a group chat with her and my sister. Um, I'm saying, you know, if you don't hear back from Tiff 
In a day or so, I'm going to file a missing persons report because I don't know what's going on with her. You're genuinely worried. I'm genuinely worried. Do you have any evidence you brought today? I do, yes, Your Honor. May I have I these it? text messages. Chains. And these text messages are presented to the court to show what? To show that I did text her several times while she was gone. She did not respond to any of those text messages. Your Tim, are you okay? Why aren't you answering my calls? It's been three days. Where are you? Just let me know you're okay. Text me or T if you're okay. It's been a week. This is crazy. Please respond. I'm worried about you. Yorna, may I answer, please? No. Like, uh, hey, Tia, if I don't hear from you, Tiffany, I'm going to file a missing persons report. It's been two days. Hey, bro, Tiffany just texted me. She says she's okay and we'll be home later. Can you tell her to answer my text? I'm worried about her. She said, don't worry, she's home soon. So the bottom line is you were blowing her up because you thought something had happened to her when she disappeared for a week. I did. Did you change the locks on the door? I did, Your Honor. I and did change the locks. did you change the locks? You're so worried about her. I this is where she lives and her things are, but you changed the lot. I was worried about her, and then I got that message from my sister Tia that said she's fine. But sh so I'm assuming that, okay, well, she's fine. She hasn't responded to me. She hasn't communicated to me. So I'm assuming she's not coming back. She has gone off for a few days before and not communicated. So I'm assuming you she's not. not you, it, miss, 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 oh, Mr. Cattle, I wasn't born yesterday. You were not assuming that she was never coming back. All her things were there. You were assuming that she was with another man and you were furious about it, so you changed the locks so she couldn't get in the house. That is not true, Your Honor. I was assuming that she had found another place, like we had discussed. How? So, oh, so she found another place and was never going to be able to get into that place to get her things? I, I welcomed her to get back to get her things. So the, get, uh, take me to that part. Okay. When did you say you can come get your things? Because I already see what's happening. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> this I was, is obvious. This is obvious. This is classic breakup. You getting back at him, then of course, you know, y'all men can dish it out. You can't take it. So then once she went off, then you got mad and changed the locks. And then once she changed the locks, she couldn't get back in. Coming up. Were you paying money though out of your own pocket yes. for the rent or were you giving it directly to him? To him. Okay. Did you bring any proof of that? No, it was 935 like every worse month. Worse to worse. I know. Okay. Terrible. It's like, why would I write anything? This is the man of my life. This is like my future husband. Closed captioning provided by... We're back with exes Tiffany Stevenson and Kemp Kettle, who are in court fighting over lost belongings. So how much time did you give her to get in, to, to get her stuff, or did you give her any time? This is too classic for me. I did give her time to get her stuff. What she is referring to, those 48 hours, I was away on a work trip. And so I said, I will be back in two days, and then you can come in and get all your things. When did you let her in the house? I let her in the house when I got back from my trip, two days later. Why would he change the lock, knowing that I live there? I we know the why he changed the lock, exactly. Miss Stevenson. Exactly. We already understand that. The problem is you're not on the lease. I hate to break this know, to you. I know, I know. So moving on, were you paying money, though, out of your own pocket yes. for the rent, or were you giving it directly to him? To him. Okay. Uh, in cash or in cash. by... Cash. Mm, even worse. Did you bring any proof of that? No, it was 935, like every worse month. Worse went to worse. I know. Okay, terrible. It's like, why would I write anything? This is the man of my life. This is like my future husband. Well, like, why I'm, would you I'm pay with a check? Then. You've got all of these online transfers. You've got Venmo. You've got Zelle. You've got He said Adjap. it was easier to You've got this. That is not true. Was I never he said, said that. This that was easier. her idea. She wanted to pay so with cash. So was she paying part of the rent? She did pay part of the rent, yes, for All that right, line. so you changed the locks even though you knew you had someone, a tenant, a person, paying part of the rent. You were wrong for that. When you get to the point where you go get your things, why don't you get it? Because he, I went in, I got some of our stuff, okay, that he had packed like a crazy man in a plastic bag, a trash bag, and I got it. After two weeks, I got found in my apartment, and I'm taking everything out. There was a whole bunch of things missing. Did things you... that he knew that I love. He knew that I cherish them. Coming up. I said you have about 30 minutes. No, you 20. Grab, your, grab 20. your stuff. And that is not true. 20 minutes. Would you let me talk since I sat here quietly and let you talk? Closed captioning provided by... We're back with exes Tiffany Stevenson and Kemp Kettle, who are in court fighting over lost belongings. 
Did you reach out to him and say some of my things are missing? Yes, you have right there, Your Honor, on the, uh, the second one, the text message that I have. It's written right there. I text him. I said, some of my things are missing. Can you please, like, get me, get to me? And I'm get unpacking. Some, some of my things are missing. I told you I was cleaning. I gave you a chance to pick up whatever you left, but you were ignoring my calls. Really? You're mad. He said, I told you to get them, but you didn't. That's not my fault or my problem now. You need to pay for my clothes. Mr. Kettle, how long did you give her to get her things? She came to the house. I said, you have about 30 minutes. No, you 20, grab your, grab 20, your stuff. And that is not true. 20 minutes. Would you let me talk since I sat here quietly and let you talk? He did. I'm sorry. You had an opportunity to go and look through that house up and down to see if your things were in there, but you did not do your due diligence and look everywhere because you were upset and angry and probably acting like you are right now. So you snatched the things up, but then waited two weeks to see what was inside, then realized some things were missing. Then you called him back and said, there are things missing. And then you said, it's not my problem because I already gave you chance to look all through the house. Is that right? At that point, Your Honor, yes. No, I had already right. given all that all bag. Is that. Not fully, not fully, I because already... he said he packed everything, Hold all on. my stuff. So, Mr. Kettle, at that point, did you look through the house anymore for anything that you felt like she said was missing. I did, Your Honor. Did you see anything? I else? did not, Your Honor. Did you take any of her things to the Goodwill? I took a bag that we'd already agreed was donation to the Goodwill. I did not look inside of it. The last that I checked when we decided what was going to the Goodwill, her Jordans were not in there, her jeans were not in there, whatever else she's claiming was you not in there. You dropped one bag off of the Goodwill. I dropped one bag off of the Goodwill, Your Honor. And you are testifying today that you did not destroy any of her other things. Absolutely, Your Honor. That is where I'm testifying. All right. I've heard enough. Y'all have worn me out today. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. Promotional consideration provided by. Let me tell you something woman to woman. And I'm just going to give you this little piece of advice. It's called I drop a dime and you pick it up if you want it. Do not ever give up a place where you live for a relationship that you do not know is going to make it or not. When you move across the country from some for somebody, right, and don't have your name on a lease, and can easily lose access to a place, whether it's right or wrong, you should protect yourself as a woman. Do you understand me? I do. And look out for yourself. Because there comes a time where just playing the victim is no longer gonna work but for your you. Honor, I'm, I'm done taking testimony. I've heard it. You've repeated the same story five times. And the only thing you haven't told me in the last 25 minutes is that when he gave me time, I searched that whole entire house I was up and safe. down for my things. Oh, no, so Court is safe. adjourned judgment for the defendant. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. I told you that the truth would come out and, and the truth would set us lose. free. And you know what? You were always God. doing all this you behind my back and, me and you were telling me I that I could talk I and scared. say my I truth as much you. as possible. No one would believe me. You're you're you didn't believe me. You're ridiculous. This is ridiculous.